As we compute federal taxes, a tip I have for you is to stay on the step that you're in. Don't try to work ahead, focus on the step that you're in. Sometimes when you're trying to do the whole thing, it can seem to be complex, but if you work on the step, stay on the step that you're in, that makes it not nearly as bad, especially the first few steps. So let's look at an example. You see, we have an individual who's earned $80,000 from their job. They've contributed to CPP and EI. You could have CPP and EI income. It would specifically call them income. So these are contributions. They've had a dividends of $1,000. DTC stands for dividend tax credit. That credit has already been calculated for you. We'll get to that in step five. Child care paid, an RSP contribution contribution basic this is the basic tax credit amount that everyone gets taxes deducted at source and you see I've given you the first two tax brackets tax brackets change every year in this course you can look them up in the textbook but if you ever get a question I will give you the tax brackets they change every single year uh, they're indexed to inflation so once again let's stay with the step that we're in so let's do step one. So step one is total income. So these are the things that I'm adding up. First I have employment income and that is 80,000. I add to that my dividend income and remember you multiply that by 1.38. I have to multiply that by 1.38, so I get 13.80. And that's it, that's step one. There's probably going to be a few more items in reality, but for our example, that's all we need to do. Step two, I subtract off my deductions. How do I know what are deductions? I look at the list. EI and CPP are credits. They're not deductions. I do have two deductions here. I have child care. And I have my RRSP. So I have child care. I subtract off 5,000. And I have my RRSP. I subtract off 4,000. So first couple of steps, relatively straightforward, but you have to know what goes into each step. So this gives me net income of 72,380. So first step over here, and then this step over here is net income. I look at step three. This is taxable income now I look and see are there any other items here there are no others so my taxable income is the same 72,380 now I have to calculate my federal tax so remember with progressive tax I only use the portion that's within a bracket so I don't take the entire 72 380 and multiply it by the second bracket I take 49,000 and multiply it by 15 percent then I take 72 380 minus 49,000 and I multiply that by 20 percent Point five percent. So this gives me seventy three fifty. This over here is twenty three three eighty. Which means that I for the first part I had seventy three fifty. And now I have 479290. 479290. So if I didn't have any credits, I would have to pay $12,142.90 in federal tax. In federal tax.
blocks. But I do have credits. So over here, I bring this number over here. 12,142.90. But I do have some credit that I have to calculate. I do have some credits that I have to calculate. So what credits do I have? I have EI, I have CPP, I have the dividend tax credit, which has already been calculated for me, and I have the basic. So my credits. Dividends already been calculated for me, so I have 900 plus 3,000 plus 12,000. What do I do with all credits? I multiply them by the bottom tax bracket is 15%. So I add those up and I multiply them by 15%, which gives me 2385. So that's everything except the dividend. The dividend is calculated for me. So now I bring down dividend of $200. So those two items, sorry for my handwriting, 23.85 and 200 gives me 25.85. Those are my credits. So I subtract the credits from the tax I would otherwise pay. I subtract the taxes from the I subtract the credits from the taxes I would otherwise pay and I get net. I get my net taxes of 95.57.90. I'm not quite done. And when working on a question, you might reach this point and you might say, if it's a practice question, you might say, well, I, I, I feel like I've done this right, but I'm not getting the answer. Why am I not getting the answer? We're not done. There's one last step. I have to compare how much taxes I've already paid. So I've already paid 10000 I've calculated that I should have paid 9500 and change, but I've already paid $10,000. So what does that mean? It means I've overpaid and I'm going to get a refund of $442.10.